Welcome everyone. In this uh, short lecture video, um, which is focused on doing Papua New Guinea res uh, research for our essays in the external mode for PNG politics, I would like to introduce you, the students, to the um, the three website which I think will be beneficial for you to enhance uh, your ability and also your knowledge in completing your essay. So I would discourage Wikipedia because Wikipedia is uh, not uh, a review um, website where people can edit information at will and this sort of uh, affects the credibility of the website itself and it's not a genuine source for any essay uh, assignments in uh, external mode of PNG politics. So to get a, a understanding of Papua New Guinea politics, the recommended uh, sites are number one here on your screen, the Department of Pacific Affairs, number two, the Development Policy Blog, and the NR National Research Institute. And I will go through each of this website and give you tips on how to go about and get uh, access materials. So why is this important? Because the Department of Pacific Affairs basically puts out publications, policy issues, and very much everything around the Pacific, including Papua New Guinea. So here in the DPA website, you see, follow the arrow here, you see the publications here. There are various publications that you can access. Okay, we have in briefs, discussion papers, working papers, books, research reports. Okay, this here in the publication uh, section here are important uh, publications that are, uh, can be useful to your assignments. Why is this important? Because these are peer reviewed. Okay, in a peer reviewed uh, publications, we have experts. Or scholarly experts who are renowned in their fields have uh, published a lot of materials and are very much uh, important figures to go to to see the developments of various topics. Now let me give you an example here. The in brief section here, and this is the paper that I uh, published in in brief. Let me take um, how to access it. You go to further information here. And then you click Media Freedom Accountability this um, underlined uh, blue uh, title here. After clicking it, it will direct you to the Open Research. And then from here, you can choose to download here or download the article here. Okay, let's try download the article here. So this is the downloaded article here, and in this article I talked about the media freedom, accountability, and online misinformation in Papua New Guinea. So if you're doing your assignment in a given topic, for example, media freedom, you can access this article, this in brief here, to have a overview of uh, the issue at hand here. So in this in brief, in brief here, so in brief are meant to be short, okay, and give you a preview of the issues mentioned. So in this in brief, in brief here, I basically talked about the accountability, or media freedom, accountability and misinformation as a result of the ongoing media development policy in Papua New Guinea. Okay, and not only this article but other articles as well. Um, the next uh, here, the next section would be, you can also use the same sort of approach to access the development uh, discussion papers. Here, you go to, uh, yep, the highlighted blue, and there, there you go, you download the discussion paper here. Okay. Now, this discussion paper are important because that sort of gives you like the in brief discussion papers, the working papers, and the books here are rich materials for you to use in your assignments. Okay. And the next is 
the blog here now this is the blog is also a good source because like the in brief it gives you a snapshot into the issues that is faced in Papua New Guinea for example if you come to if you type this here the development policy blog dot org it will direct you to this page here and then you click PNG and the Pacific here we have tons of publications here in relating to PNG politics themes and topics say if you want to search about a topic here you can come to this search button here let's say let me type electoral system change and let's see uh, give it some time okay and this will direct you to let's say a lot of in articles in relation to electoral change and this is the article that i've uh, written on the organic law the unexpected political effect of pnc's holy pack okay so what uh, in this article here, I basically talk about uh, the impact of uh, section 63 or the unexpected impact of the organic law on the uh, development of political parties. How do you access it? If you scroll down here, you can download it, uh, download this article here, and it's all free of charge, so you don't have to have any subscription. Also here, you have access to download this book here. Papua New Guinea Government, Economy and Society, it's free download and also to um, the book will also help you to discuss various themes of Papua New Guinea politics. So this is uh, the Development Policy Blog, um, let's see, NRA Publication, okay, now the last uh, website here, NRA Publication, here you can go through the publication uh, NRI Research Institute website come down to our research here and then click publication and then here you have all, all the publications on various topics here here there's something about autonomy here greater autonomy and independence here there's a paper here policy issues Okay, this will direct you to the site here, and then you can you can save the site here. Oh, sorry, save the document here. So this is the document here. Mm -hmm. Or what you can do, you can come in and type. Let's see, let's type social media, publication social media, and then it will give you, I believe, a list. Yes, these are the list here. So these are the three sites that I would recommend for external students taking PNG politics uh, to um, access these sites and download articles that is in related to your assignments topics here. Uh, with that, um, in the next uh, video I will be talking about how to go about in terms of analyzing and reading the uh, documents.